Awesome, what a great Monday. We have a skunk where we sell bag feed in here and it's sprayed. Now my office smells like skunk and our store, everything sucks. Matt, why did you scare it? I can't taste anymore. I'm gonna go buy a trap now and see if we can't, you know, get him to leave. Oh, what a terrible way to start the week. Oh, how do I get the smell out? Yeah, it smells bad in the store. Everything's gonna be ruined. Tractor supply, here I come. I guess this is where I say, this is the Bales Hay Farm and Ranch YouTube. My last name is Bales and yes, I bale hay, but man, this skunk has put me in a bad mood. Oh, it's got a headache. Well, I don't remember what we were talking about before my father-in-law called, but he's got some big bales of triticale that uh, uh, I'm essentially brokering for him and some uh, alfalfa that didn't test. The dairy doesn't want it, all big bales. So he's wondering uh, what's, what's going on with that. Dropped off two fans and some uh, wood, wood um, smoker shavings, I guess. I don't know, little pieces of wood and like little fire starters that they're all stacked up. Oh, it smells so bad out there. I can't, I can't be in there. So I'm actually headed to the tractors right now. The guy disking, they've got a mulcher out, breaking up the clods. Um, Cause we're gonna put, or well, we're gonna plant some um, tough grass. We're gonna try to have that planted this week if everything goes well. We didn't bail last night or this morning. We had like three days where it didn't even get into the nineties. So everything pushed back like two days. We don't wanna, we don't wanna rush it. Uh, we want to make sure everything's cured out well. So tomorrow, tonight, we'll start baling again. This teff grass is going to go in a triticale field. It's actually right at my parents' house, the one Nicole and I hope to buy one day. This ground is very dry. We only irrigated it once after uh, we baled it the first time. We just irrigated it once and bailed it up a second time. It, it didn't really make very much. We didn't plan on it, but uh, because we knew we had to wait a little bit before we could plant the teff grass. It needed to warm up. So he's out here hammering it out. It's only 80 acres or so. Then the uh, mulcher's right behind him, busting up the clods. Uh, we were half tempted to irrigate it again, to soften it up a little bit before we disked it, but running low on time. So we went against that. Just set a camera up, but the battery's almost dead. Dang it.
So my pickup smells like skunk, leather, air freshener, and I bought a green monster, dumped half it out and just set it in the cup holder because that smells pretty strong. So I was hoping it'd make my truck smell like green apple. Now it just smells terrible, like all three of those things combined, which is disgusting. So here's what I was talking about with the clods. I need to break this up before we can plant the um, teff grass into here. That disc does a good job, our other disc, it makes even bigger clods. Like you can see that guy. We need those broken up. So we've got the mulcher running right behind this guy. He's already made one pass on this next border. You can see there's quite a difference. He really busts those down. He might need to make two passes though. If you can see the difference, he went here, he hasn't gone there. There aren't any big clods, lots of small ones. There's the line, there's the big ones. Big clods. Hopefully he'll do the trick. Like I said, it might need new pass, two passes to get it to where we need it. I've been looking for a new, a new molter actually. You can't hardly find them used though. You guys like my microphone? My new t-shirt? Oh, here he's turning. Let's watch him run a bit. All the farmers watching the show know exactly what that is. If you're not a farmer, it's got two sets of rings that run vertical and they just roll and they just squish dirt clods pretty much. There are some chisels in there. I think I just saw they were down. Um, they're not as important with what we're doing right now, but um, they help a little bit. That, that guy, that thing is, I think it's probably close to 30 years old or older. Like I said, I'd like a new one, but man, uh-oh. From the new manure spreaders, they bring in concrete blocks sometimes from the dairy. We've got, I've got 160 acres actually ready to go for the TEF. So hopefully, we'll give that to that gopher hole. It's actually a, ground squirrel hole, hole. So hopefully this will all be planted and irrigated this week. Wow, it's potent in my truck. Whew. It's like a weird mixture of smells. Ugh. The way we farm here is pretty different. Uh, I'm sure someone will ask or, or you're wondering why I'm not running equipment. So we have so much going on that I have to manage more. I still operate the squeeze a lot, as you've noticed. I'm hoping to get away from that so I can spend more time helping with the managing side of stuff. Brian is awake usually all night, managing the balers and the rakes, making sure everyone is running properly, making sure they're not too much, they're not running too much steam. And we just got him, so we're still learning everything. So he needs to be out there at night helping those guys where I need to be managing during the day helping these guys making sure everything's going okay making sure the depth of that disc is set right making sure the mulcher is set right and he's not gliding across the top um, not breaking clods it's important that we get these clods broken up and that's why I'll come back in a little bit walk across more of this field and see if we need to go a second time. Like I said, we might have to go a second time. The seed's pretty expensive. So I'd like these, I'd like the, I'd like it to work the first time around. I really don't want to plant this thing twice. He already did this little patch. Just looking at it. Uh, I might have him do a couple spots where he goes over it twice and see how it looks compared to the spots that he uh, went over once. 
curious. Well, you'll never guess what I'm doing. I'm in the squeeze. Back at the in-laws, uh, gotta load some big bales of alfalfa and some big bales of triticale. We ran out of triticale at my place. My father-in-law's got quite a bit that the dairy doesn't need. So I'm brokering, selling it for him. Well, however you want to say it. Uh, and my, my wife works for him, so he'll just add it to her check. It's, it's great, keeping it in the family. So, loading trucks. Big bales. truck up. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't care. Throw on 45 bales. This truck's pretty light. I didn't know what these bales weighed. Weighed 94,000 pounds. So we just pulled uh, six, seven, eight, off, eight, uh, seven bales off. We're hoping to be good. Loading that truck was terrible. It kept, I don't know what was wrong. We couldn't figure out the math, but uh, it was overweight, overweight, overweight. I only have nine seconds left. So thanks for watching Bales Hay Sales Farm and Ranch. Please hit the thumbs up if you like it. Uh, leave a comment, let us know. See you later.